So this demonstration is about how to control the line style when we create a Creo drawing and we're exporting that out either when we're printing or creating a PDF. So we can control things like the line thickness, the line color, the line font, you know, the pattern, the style, um, and we can also map other entities. Okay, so if we um, look inside Creo, we've got, this is our options that we've got. We've got our pen table file, which points to the location of our file, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, this option here is to use eight plotter pens, gives us some more capabilities and flexibility. And PDF use pen table, that's when we export out to a PDF. The, the settings that we've got for the line thicknesses will be be used. Okay. So here's a here's a drawing. Um, the quickest and the easiest way to sort of um, show you this is just go to File, uh, Print, okay, and then go Preview. And so when we look at this, um, this is our ta pen table file we've got on the right here. We've got all these different pens which correspond to different entities, um, and we can set the thickness of those. So you can see this is how it appears now. Now if I for example, change this. So let's say I change this to 0.8, okay? And I simply just disable and re-enable re the preview. If we look now, those lines become a lot thicker, okay? So you can see that is actually controlling what is happening. So I've got all these different pens. I will go back to what they all are. or will show you where to get information on that in a moment. But Look, this is a color drawing. Sometimes what you might want to do is you might want to um, have it in color, sorry, in grayscale or black and white. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it into this. So this is my current table. If I save this and then I just simply deactivate, reactivate my, um, my print preview, you can see now we've got a black and white or grayscale drawing. You can see the hidden lines there are shown in, in gray. Okay. Um, now what I've done here, that, that's because you can see here, this is the color black basically has been added to all of the, the pens except for pen three and seven. Pens three and seven are gray by default. Um, but what I've done is put a pattern in here as well. So you can see that's controlling the pattern of the hidden line. Um, for example, if I want to see a different pattern, so this is the length of the first line. This is a spacing length of the next line. So if we save that, Again, have a look at our lines, we preview. We can come in and we say we're getting a longer line and then a shorter line, okay? So we can see how all that's working. Um, for more information, um, go to help.ptc.com, which resolves into a, a different address, um, then go through the Creo help. Um, here's where you can see all the information about the pen numbers. Um, and then there's more help topics down the left hand side here. This is this one talks about assigning colors to another pen. Um, and also here's some, ex some more examples of a pen table file. Um, that's all. Thank you.